It began just before three this morning. Residents described it as a loud bang. Said, oh my God, what's going on here? Police say a vehicle exploded in the parking lot of a three-level apartment. That building, a resident told us, is occupied almost entirely by seniors. Then nearby, police found an improvised explosive device. They shut down the neighborhood for hours to figure out what to do next. Members of the Barry Police Explosive Disposal Unit were also dispatched and, and responded. And uh, this morning around 8.30, a remote detonation of that device that was found was, was carried out safely. Two explosions in the neighborhood in just over five hours. But police weren't sure if there were other devices. Neither were neighbors. How many more is there out there? We don't know. So that's pretty scary. Cars couldn't move in a large cordoned off area, and for most of the day, residents needed permission to go through police lines. In that immediate area, a number of high rise uh, buildings. We have a retirement home, we have a residential community just to the north. Uh, a great deal of patience and understanding had to be uh, undertaken by a lot of people whose lives and day-to-day and -day routine was significantly impacted. A daycare is situated meters from the building where the vehicle blew up. And to know that that happened right around here is pretty scary, especially when there's so many kids in the area. Family members had to walk their kids to school and bring them home on foot as forensics investigators spent all day looking for other explosives. You, you don't know nowadays. It's not like before. We've got to be cautious and careful wherever we go and what we do nowadays. Police say they wanted to make certain there were no other bombs that could go off. You know, from, from war-type locations, the, the danger that these devices do, in fact, uh, pack with them. And, and, you know, any loss of life could have happened here today, but we're very fortunate that uh, so far in our investigation, nobody has uh, sustained any injury whatsoever. Sean O'Shea, Global News.